What's going on, everybody? My name is Johnny, and welcome to episode number 15, I think, or 16, of Dying Light 2. We're here, so let's just go ahead and jump up in here. I heard about Rose withdrawal from the island. I hope Matt knows what he's doing. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, we don't have any more infected uh, what did they trophies. Say what did you yesterday? Halt. Halt. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Okay. Thanks. That's all I got. All right. Welcome on aboard. Report to the dispatcher. Do 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 do. Make sure you guys subscribe because we got a lot of content coming up. Felix Two is in like. Sounds Literally 15 days. Let's open. Hey, where's dispatch? That's gonna be a long let's play, so. There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. Night runners. They've already attacked two of our camps. We'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some your famous father. war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Go make yourself. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. You're yeah, moist. I guess. From the fight in the How canteen? How glossy you are. Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Major Matt? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. <laughs> See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You want to pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Oof. Oh, Matt, that's Matt, huh? Clear the way. He's bleeding out. I see no blood, so where's this bleeding out part? Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him. Yes. Take him to the infirmary. No, Summon the medics. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. Oh, that's... You hear me? That's Ator. Get moving. That's Matt. I'm Better Nettie. hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Okay. Yeah, we're going to continue on the side, the main quests. Um, I want to beat this because I want to try to get through Elix if I can. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. Aiden. To get to Elex before Elex 2, you know but this is. we'll see. These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. They look like then paper. They passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, <sighs> tell me, Aiden. What do you need this database for? What does it contain? Of course, man. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. The butchers? We can get them both. I brought Who's you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Okay, what do you want in return? Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. 
For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you right, Rose? Sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Okay, Jack. Don't you come back. Alright, we gotta go this way. Talk to Meyer. We gotta go we gotta run down here and see if we can get some more stuff as well. I can't jump apparently, that's fucking annoying. That's probably where they're gonna have Aider's condition. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I need all of these. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Oh, thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Everything. Tell me more about the TV tower. Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Well, let's set out. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Okay. I've got something to say. You got it. Okay, so how do I use the UV one, I wonder? Preliminary in here. If you want to stay here. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. Ooh, a little it's French. urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Damn. Fucking prisoners have better condition. And the Juan? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. He's probably lurking around the fish eye. Canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribe the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. So he's a hard-to-get person, okay. We'll frickin' find him then. Don't you worry about that. What time is it? It's early morning? Sweet. Okay, cool. Juan Rainer? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. 
And my name's I know who you are, Aiden. After you know that me? bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted Weird. our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Uh... Convince Juan it's worth his while to trust you. Threaten Juan. Ask Juan for help. Alright, listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? Well, let me beat your I'm ass. I'm saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. How about a court-martial? I can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. <laughs> Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <laughs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Okay. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. He's a, he's a piece of work. You gotta tell me twice where you located that girl. Oh, right there. Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier <laughs> likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. How's it going? You there yet? Uh, not yet. I've reached the building. I'm here. How did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. When you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. Well, let's freaking handle it then, shall we? Uh, let's see here. 
We gotta go up here. And... No. Find Valuables and Juan in the apartment. Probably not gonna be in the trash can. Luan? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Bad, I guess. Can't loot anything here. I need to get some scraps I'm looting as well. Let's go up here. I'm sorry, but it seems there isn't room for you in the helicopter after all. I'll try to send another. Don't worry, I'll have time. I have to save the collection. Yours, T. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> Unromantic son of a bitch. Okay. Lockpick this really quick, I guess. We'll come in here in a second. Let's look in here first. 18th century town sketch. Fields impressionism. Still life with fruits. Abstract. Liddy with red hat. 19th century. Shepherd. 16th century. Ah, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. I, 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 I hit the button, but I don't know if it went. There we go. Voice message from... Mr. Rakowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. Okay, so it's, a, it's up here. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Over here. Yeah. Damn. Oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. Okay, so what do you He's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't, but if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. All right, well, let's grab this then. Perfect. Take the liquor. Talk to Juan. And Daniel's optional. So that's optional. This is where we gotta go. Alright, we are here now. And we have to go back down and talk to Juan. Let's go ahead and make our way down here. Go all the way around. Hopefully he takes this alcohol. This alcohol is pretty expensive, supposedly, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah, he's yeah, way down here, huh? He's expensive to quit. He is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you. I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but to make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Ooh, here we go. 16-year-old Highland single malt. Bottled a year before the pandemic broke out. Oh, this is not copyrighted music. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. 
So you're gonna tell me what I need to know? Because if you're not, then I'm out of here and get my shit back. Why are these cups so freaking big? To your health, handsome. Are you gonna drug me? What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. Because I'm How the Butcher. Know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about these lamps? What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? Why does everybody I fucking know my shit, but not- spies. Cannot get freaking Might be able to find something answers. out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Um... I'm gonna stick How with I Matt. You're not using me to make a move of your own. I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Where to go. All right, guys. This is going to be episode number 15 or 16 of Dying Light 2. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always guys, miss joining me. See you guys in the next episode of Dying Light 2. Bye.